the morning. My name is Driver Hillary. I'm speaking to Silas uh, Litwa. We are talking about the financial implications of COVID-19 to the Sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, seven, uh, it is estimated about 17 million Kenyans are using their last savings, uh, which could de deplete by is it 6th? 6th of August. Yes, and now uh, we are looking at something different now from what we've talked about, the increase of the salaries, the decrease, uh, the lockdown, should we go on lockdown, how are we faring? Now, uh, to finish up, we're looking about the loans and mobile money. Uh, we are speaking about that. I'm sure you borrowed the the and it was the tala you had until the president said to see CRB because we have borrowed so much. And actually, this is the lot where the, the youths are. Tunapena tuku inuwa niyaje tukutane. I'm sorry. Kathao, Thaumbili, Lafu, Nashindwa, Kulipa. So, out of this 40% of the respondents have taken out a loan to cover expenses because of coronavirus. Majority are here. Uh, we are going to, we, we are going to see this, huh? Mm -hmm. more and more of it eh? mm -hmm. was one youth are unemployed many people have lost their job mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. now when you have nothing to feed on what do you resolve to do you borrow you borrow and the country is borrowing and the country as an individual borrow. borrowing yes so <laughs> now we are going to live in a cycle of debts mm -hmm. okay now you'll get people have numbers different phone numbers for the sake of Nafuliza. <laughs> Nafuliza, for the sake of borrowing, <laughs> you see? Mm -hmm. So this is a challenge that we are going to see as a country. And you see, as a country, we don't need to subject our people to such a measures, mm -hmm. okay? We need to have uh, institutions in place that are going to cater for the needs of our people. I'm not saying that we should give free things to our people, mm -hmm. but no, let us have a room where our people will be able to get employment, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. for them to get revenue, for them to feed their children, for them to pay their rents and other things, and mm -hmm. any other bill that will come. Mm -hmm. Because even if you fail to pay your rent, will you be able, okay, to secure your health bill? No. So let us have health as a basic thing and as the top priority mm -hmm. to our nation, okay, so that we can have healthy nation, by healthy people, okay, to drive the industries in place. Mm -hmm. But without such a things, such a mechanisms, then we lose it. Mm -hmm. So for the country to have good economy, okay, let us put the right measures in place. Let the governors play their role the way they are supposed to play their role in the counties. Mm -hmm. Let the national government play its role. Let us work together, okay? Mm -hmm. Bring our minds together, not for a lockdown, mm -hmm. but on how we are going to improve the economy and the livelihoods of our people. Because once we improve them, then the economy will grow, will be at a safer place. Mm -hmm. So let us not uh, kill our economy by locking down our nation. Then on the issue to do with the, with the loans, uh, let us also try to discipline ourselves on True. these matters to do the loan because it's all about discipline. Mm -hmm. When we borrow too much, the little you get, you end up paying the debts. Now you are in a very bigger problem than you were before. So mm -hmm. let us have financial discipline. Let us know how we can manage with the little we have mm -hmm. as we await on these other measures, okay, that mm -hmm. uh, are going to be taken. Because when, even if you borrow 100,000 today, okay, and you have projected to do something that will cost you, like let me say, 2 million or uh, 1 million or even 500, then you come and get mm -hmm. 300, okay? Instead of now concentrating on what you had projected, now you're now going back to pay 100 right. plus the interest mm -hmm. on the loan. Now you've remained with a few coins. Now you are, your projections will now stall because of poor financial management. Mm -hmm. So let us try to restrain ourselves from much borrowing that will harm our, even our own economy, mm -hmm. an individual economy. You see, as much as we look at the nation, 
the nation as an uh, as economy but ask yourself where are you economically true how stable are you as economically? A before you look at the nation mm -hmm. and that the nation is a larger perspective a nation is you and me mm -hmm. because before i state my economic position or before i state the nation's economic position mm -hmm. let us evaluate myself where is my economic position have I borrowed too much mm -hmm. that I cannot even move a next step? Have I borrowed too much that I cannot even do a development that will be income generating? Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that we need to look into and manage ourselves very well. Yes. All right. Finally, as we finish, before we went on that break, you were speaking about the priorities the government should be having. And according to the Geopol survey that was done recently, the opinion on what government's priority should be, we have the informal versus formal economy where the informal are saying 57%. Uh, this is a formal uh, work as they say, uh, the, uh, government should prioritize protecting its people. And the other one, uh, reopening the economy is on the formal economy. So the informal want, hey, bana, to linde. Like I'm speaking the Juakali when I say Magavai to Linde. Mm -hmm. And then when you come now to the people in the offices, they're saying, Bana Fungua, mm -hmm. Fungua economy. Mm -hmm. So there's a tussle. And I think even this is what is. Uh, uh, the president is caught in this too, uh, whether to open their economy or to protect its people. Right now, even as the, gov uh, the president meets with the governors, what should be his, in his mind protecting the people, which, which are the majority, or opening the economy, which may be, to an extent, I know you will disagree. Yes, <laughs> totally. Who will, will kill the majority. Now, I want to state this, and I started by saying, what I expect from the president, the governor's meeting, mm -hmm. I expect them to tell a nation that we managed to, for, for protecting the people is not by locking down. And I repeat that several times. Mm -hmm. Protecting the people mm -hmm. is ensuring the health system is up and running. Mm -hmm. Even if you lock down and the health system is not up and running, you are not helping Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Protecting the people is ensuring the health system is up and running. Mm -hmm. Empower the community health worker who is in that small village. Okay? They, they, they said, Kagwe said, we can manage, we can have home-based care. Mm -hmm. Home-based care, it does not need my wife or my, my son or my friend. It needs a community health worker, okay, <coughs> who understands one or two things on this thing of COVID, so mm -hmm. that he can manage it, we can manage it together. So if this community health worker is empowered, the health system itself is empowered. We have, uh, we have institutions, we have uh, fully furnished, furnished hospitals, eh? equipped with drugs, with the uh, machines and any other things that needs medical care then we are protecting our people but locking down is punishing our people mm -hmm. let us not concentrate on locking down let the president come out mm -hmm. and address this nation and tell the nation we have achieved this and this in the health sector and in the event the governors will not have achieved a b c d should we go on a lockdown you see or what? the cessation? Let us, let, us, let us have what you call accountability. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let us have accountability. Mm -hmm. Let us not, and I keep on saying, let us not lock this country. Let the governors come and tell us, in my county, this is what I've managed to do. Mm -hmm. And I need these and these days to ensure this is attained mm -hmm. as far as COVID is concerned. But the numbers are surging. We the will numbers give you are surging. Days. Why are the numbers surging? The numbers are surging because mm -hmm. the, the, the health worker is not empowered. That is one thing. Mm -hmm. Okay? But if this person is empowered, if each and every county will empower their health worker, mm -hmm. then the numbers will go down. We can only talk of a flat curve, okay, when we've, uh, we are able to manage the situation. Mm -hmm. But we cannot talk of a flat curve when you're not managing the situation. And locking down is not solving this problem. Mm -hmm. I'm telling the truth. We went on a curfew. We went on a cessation. This did solve anything. Let us be realistic. 
Let but, us be realistic. But I think, but I think even the, the problem is not even the health workers being empowered. I think it is even what the ministry has been calling for. Personal responsibility. Is, has that been so? The personal responsibilities mm -hmm. have been so in some areas. But exactly. in some areas, mm -hmm. they have not been so. And as I mentioned earlier on, the responsibility starts with myself. I remember I said eh, mm -hmm. that uh, on when I look at the economy of a nation, first of all, let me look at myself. Where am I economically? Sure. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because it also matters a lot. Now, when we talk of health, where am I myself? Am I taking, am I taking into keen observation the measures that have been uh, uh, aligned by the Minister of Health? Mm -hmm. Am I adhering to those uh, regulations? If not, then let me go and interrogate myself, okay? And take the measures. And that's why I even questioned mm -hmm. the leaders who have been hovering around, having meetings with, with the citizens and the publics, mm -hmm. okay? And if... And you see, the other day we even questioned here, a, a political rally in a place mm -hmm. and a church service. So the church, the church service, the police officers stormed the place and arrested these individuals. A political rally went on, that went on <laughs> with no issues, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. The attendees left the place to their home. But the people at the church left their place to the cells. So, are we really doing justice? Okay? So, it, has, it is our own responsibility. Let us not tell our people mm -hmm. to sit at home, okay? And yet, we are hovering around in one area to another, from one area to another, <laughs> spreading this thing. And yet, yet when a, a, a pastor decides to copy or emulate what we are doing, mm -hmm. okay? And pastors are leaders again. They are leaders. You go and arrest them. All right, <laughs> let's finish it right there, uh, hoping the president, when he comes out to speak, uh, he will have full reports from the governors. Actually, uh, we, we are not sure whether he will be speaking to the nation this day after meeting with the governors. Maybe they will sit with the governors, hear what they have, and then we will hear later. But anyway, anyhow, we will get the information how the meeting went, how governors are ready for their counties, how much ready are we as a nation. We uh, are done here. I'll be leaving you with a segment of health. Remember, even as we fight COVID-19, there are other health conditions that need to be looked. We have other chronic conditions that need to be looked yeah. into, like the cancers, the mm -hmm. diabetes, the TB. We have so much that needs to be looked into. And the Ministry of Health has been calling on you members of the public to go to hospitals if you are unwell. Uh, we have this uh, hospital paranoia, but we need not to. We need to go to hospitals being, being checked. And if things are wrong, we'll be treated. But there, 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 there's ne <laughs> negligence on the side of the doctors and the uh -huh. hospitals. When you go there, mm -hmm. you see they force you to test for COVID, for COVID uh -huh. before they treat you or before they take care of you on mm -hmm. these other diseases. That you they are also you afraid. Do you see, you see some, uh, even them have been As much as they are afraid, affected. Eh? I don't object. They are affected, yes. Uh -huh. But also, let us take care of this other. Let us not let let us not kill our people out of ignorance. Oh, no, right. mm -hmm. no. It is very sad. Uh, again, uh, personal responsibility and even taking care of the next person to you. Cyrus Lito has been my guest this morning. We were looking into the financial implications of COVID-19 to the economy and the sub-Saharan Africa. And we have seen where Kenya is. We don't, we don't need the, the lockdown. If I may quote uh, Cyrus, he has said we don't need the lockdown. All we need is a strategy and yes. the management by, the, by our leaders to tell us where we are, what we need to not to go for a lockdown. My name is Dereva Hilary. Good morning. Good Monday morning and thank you again for being part of us this 27th of July 2020.
time for politics and current affairs. Actually, I was thinking I'm not going to do any politics, but something is pressing me up uh, to speak about politics since it has been order of the week. Actually, throughout this weekend, the name of the president has been invoked by many people. Uh, some are saying uh, there's an agreement, others are saying, they are saying there's no agreement. Others are talking about the system, how important the system is, how important the system isn't. The people are the system and others believe indeed the government of the day is the system. But we will talk about that uh, briefly, but our conversation this morning is on the financial implications of COVID-19 uh, in the sub-Saharan Africa, where an estimated 17 million Kenyans are operating on the last cash reserves set to be depleted by August 1st, which is three days from now, or maybe four, uh, until, uh, according to the latest report released by Geopol titled Financial Impact of COVID-19. My guest this morning is Silas Reed. So he's a, he's a political analyst, and something you didn't know about him is an accountant. I don't know to word it. Actually, I was asking him why hasn't he... Uh, applied for the uh, uh, this job of the auditor general in our country i don't know what it takes to be the auditor general maybe miaka i don't know I mean, share your comments and your questions to all our social media platforms y254 channel on facebook and instagram at y254 channel on twitter my handle is at murani hilary and my name is deriva hilary good morning and welcome to the program Cyrus, how are you i'm very fine you know uh over the weekend, uh. <laughs> uh, people have been believing the system will work for them. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had one of them say, uh, this is a brother to Honorable, uh, right, uh, right Honorable Ray Lodinga. Mm -hmm. The brother was saying in uh, 2000, mm -hmm. Uh, 2002, mm -hmm. uh, they believed the system was not important. Mm -hmm. And they stayed there. Mm -hmm. And now they have realized the system is important and that's why they want to work with the government. Mm. I'm thinking mm -hmm. uh, in the spirit of the handshake, uh, that's why now they want to feel we're in the government. He was saying we will be right there, we'll work with the president, he's the system right now. On the other hand, um, Boni Halwale, uh, former senator for is it Kakamega, Kakamega mm -hmm. was saying we don't believe in the system. Mm -hmm. The system is the people. Mm. If the system was the person, then Raila would have become the president after Mwai Kibaki Mwai because there was an agreement. They mm. worked together, they mm. were in the government. So mm. the, the people voted in 2013. Mm. So the people are the system. If I could quote the uh, de uh, deputy president, uh, William Ruto, in a function in uh, Rich Valley, he once said, they may have the system, but I'm coming in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Do you believe in the system? Uh, I think things are changing in the country. <laughs> and we cannot talk of a system because uh, I'll uh, buy the idea of the system with the people. <laughs> the system is not an individual. And if it is an individual, <laughs> then we could have seen so many things happening. But why do I say the system is not an individual? Uh, the late President Moy, mm -hmm. when he was uh, retiring, he blessed Uhuru Kenyatta to be his uh, heir. Mm -hmm. But uh, the people who wanted change, mm -hmm. who are now the system, mm -hmm. who beat the system, the, the so-called the system, mm -hmm. decided no. Kibaki is our man. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, it was there. The same system that we talk uh, of uh, tried to uh, made us fight in 207, 208. Mm -hmm. You see, when few individuals sat in a corner to decide so and so will be the president, regardless of the votes. Mm -hmm. Okay? He gunners. You see, the will of the people was different mm -hmm. from an individual. But you saw it led to a bloodshed. Okay? So we come and say there is no system that appoints a person. Mm -hmm. It is the individuals and the will of the people. 
and if the will of the people is not re respected, then mm -hmm. it will lead to a bloodshed or uh, destabili destabilization of the nation. Mm -hmm. And that's not where we want to go. And, uh, so these people have been invoking the name of their president. Uh, I, I, I don't know, like every politician who spoke over the weekend and throughout the week, they kind of mentioned the president. The dailies are full of the president. Uh, the president plays a pivotal role at the moment. Mm -hmm. Remember, the president uh, is on his last term. And he wants to retire. Mm -hmm. He wants to go home now. Everyone will want to succeed him. Hillary, wherever you are here, mm -hmm. uh, you are in an institution. And you believe, when, that, when a vacuum comes, okay, where you believe you, you fit, mm -hmm. you will compete to have that position from the outgoing person. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that is what is happening right now. So there are those ones who want to... Uh, be around the president mm -hmm. so that they, he can say you'll be the next uh, president after I, le I, leave the can I, I leave the presidency mm -hmm. or after I retire. Uh, but others have decided let me now work with the people who will come mm -hmm. and elect me. And remember one thing. Remember mm -hmm. one thing. Right. All these people who are fighting for presidency mm -hmm. okay they have been working together. Mm -hmm. One, there's a time they worked as a team. There's a time they worked as opponents. True. Remember, uh, Uhuru and Raila, in 202, they worked, as a, uh, uh, they worked in the same, same uh, institution, the Kano institution, mm -hmm. okay, where uh, Moi was the, the, the leader of the, 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 the political leader of the party, the, 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 the party leader of Kanu. Okay, mm -hmm. then uh, Uru was the chairman, uh, Moi was there, no, Raila was the secretary general, 202, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Dabadi, all of them were together, Kalonzos, they were together. Come the same, same 202, because of uh, those political interests didn't favor mm -hmm. few individuals, they decided to ship out, okay, and mm -hmm. form another political party or political coalition mm, that right. was NAC. NAC, yeah, I remember. Okay? Then they came, the Saitotis, the, the, the Mwaiki Bakis, the, all of them okay, in one Yellow, yeah. ship. <laughs> Mnsali and Uhuru in the other ship and Kinaruto. So okay. these people have been, they worked together to some extent. They differed ideologically, okay? Mm -hmm. They went. Because my interests are not covered and my interests are not well uh, managed this other side, let me jump the other side where my interests will be catered. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that is how the game of politics has been. Come to 205, remember, Uhuru mm -hmm. and Raila work together on ODM Chungwa mm -hmm. for the referendum. Right. And that's what made the referendum see the light of the day. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then the, the Uhuru, the, the, the Kibaki, the, the Kalonzo team and Raila team were kicked out of the cabinet. Mm. Okay? Because they were in the cabinet of Mwai Kibaki. Because of the political interest, they ashamed the president at, at that moment. They were kicked out from their ministerial positions. Okay? Now, come uh, 207, mm -hmm. okay? Now, Uhuru decides, I'm not going to work with ODM, okay? But I'm going to work with the PNU side, mm -hmm. okay? And he relinquishes his opposition uh, mantle and says, I'm going to support the president. Mm -hmm. And that they work together and they achieve the, 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 the light of the day. Sure. Okay? So we cannot say it is the system. If we beg on the system, then that's where we get lost. Let the people decide. All the right. people decided in 202. Mm -hmm. The people decided in 207. Okay? The people have always, dis have always been making these decisions. And I believe mm -hmm. the people will still make decisions. So you, you agree with Bonnie Halwale, the people are the system? Because More I'm a voter, <laughs> I'm a voter, I'm a voter, <laughs> so, and I don't want to say mm -hmm. it is then, as a voter, mm -hmm. constitutionally, then why should I go and vote if there's already a system that needs to appoint someone? Okay? Um, all right. Yes. Bef before we, 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 we shift to the focus of the day, 
uh, of actually th that will even form the basis of our discussion this morning. The president will be meeting the governors. They have been crying for a lockdown and they are calling for lockdown of Nairobi again and Mombasa, Kilifi and Mandera. I don't know why Mandera again and like almost every county has reported uh, going by the uh, latest data 44 out of the 47 that was uh, released according to the statement that was released by the uh, state house spokesperson Kanzedena last week uh, the meeting that was scheduled for Wednesday which was postponed for this day 44 counties out of 47 had reported now the, the president will be meeting the the governors today what are your expectations my expectations from the meeting is not a lockdown my expectations as a citizen okay mm -hmm. who follows the government keenly who wants the best from the government for the people mm -hmm. is this a report that will tell us mm -hmm. we have managed to have these hospitals and hospital beds, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. for ICU and uh, coronavirus cases, okay? Mm -hmm. We have managed to ensure that uh, in each and every county, these other diseases, because these other patients are being sidelined. Mm -hmm. Many people are dying at hospital beds because of ignorance of the doctors. They are telling you they want to check you or they want to, first of all, check if you have corona. So you wait. So you wait for 48 hours, hours <laughs> or so, or many days. Eh? Mm -hmm. And yet you have something else that is uh, uh, paining you inside. Eh? Or mm -hmm. you are suffering from something else different from the perceived corona. Mm -hmm. So you end up dying. When the results come, they say you have corona. corona yeah. So you, you die of corona just because of negligence of the doctor. Mm -hmm. So we want to... What I want to hear from my leaders is very simple, that we have managed to have these hospitals with the fully uh, furnished equipments that are going to manage the pandemic and other diseases. Mm -hmm. Because health is very important. Without this health, we won't have these roads. Mm -hmm. Even if you have the roads, we shall have uh, the, the foreigners coming and constructing the roads for us. We won't use the roads, okay, when we are alive. But we'll be transported, somebody like me who comes from Western, we'll be transported on the road, maybe when we are, we are dead, being taken home. Have I enjoyed the road? No. Okay, so health is very important and very paramount. Mm -hmm. So what we need is a very good report. Remember, mm -hmm. World Bank gave us money on COVID. EU European Union eh, mm -hmm. gave us money on COVID. Mm -hmm. Kenyans have contributed to COVID fund, okay, which has, be, which has read, raised eyebrows whereby some monies have been uh, stuffed in banks offshore, okay? Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things. You see, we contribute towards a fund which now, goes, which now goes to benefit very few individuals, yet Kenyans are suffering. When you tell us about the lockdown mm -hmm. in counties, you are telling us that you are not supposed to move, even from my house. Leave alone the cessation. You know, when they talk about the lockdown, lockdown, when you look at it in a very bigger perspective, it mm -hmm. means I'll not even be supposed to be where I am right now. True, true. I'll be in my house, mm -hmm. okay? In my house. Now, when I'm in my house, what am I eating? What am I drinking? Okay? It is a problem. And yet the government itself cannot feed its own people. Mm -hmm. Uganda did a lockdown, mm -hmm. okay? And you saw it was able to feed its own people from door to door using the military. Then that brings the question, what's our problem, Kenyans? Can't we the feed problem our own people? is the management. Mm -hmm. The managers we've entrusted with the institutions that are in place are mm -hmm. not managing it well, okay? But they are there for, for, for themselves, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Now, when they lock down, we have had an issue of cessation of movements, okay? Apart from essential service providers, okay? But you've seen politicians moving round and round, meeting the people. So in other words, if corona has spread, who has spread the corona? Our leaders. Our leaders. Allegedly. Okay? <laughs> yes. Because if it has increased, who has increased it? I was in my, in, 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 in my area of uh, jurisdiction, 
that is Nairobi. I was, I was not able to move from one area to another mm -hmm. because because we were under cessation. Now, someone, uh, somebody somewhere was moving from one area to another, interacting meeting with people, people, interacting with people. And this person is interacting with, he's going to interact with other persons in that area. And the, other, the, the people that this person is going to interact with in, in the other areas, they are going to interact with other persons also somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So if somebody has got a corona from this point, he has only spread it to the other end. And it is not you and I. It is our leaders who have been hovering round and round. Somebody goes with the helicopter somewhere in a meeting, okay? Mm -hmm. He meets people, a group of people, after that, okay? So these are some of the things that we need to look into. If it has to start with them, mm -hmm. you should not force us to do something that you're not even going to do it. Don't sure. preach uh, wine and drink water. Or don't drink water, or don't preach water and drink wine. No. Let us have a balance mm -hmm. in each and every area. If it is all about this, uh, the essential service providers who are supposed to move, then let it be so. But we are all equal. But you had even witty Kenyans who would corrupt our police and pass through the borders and the uh, roadblocks that were elected by the, erected by the officials to ensure no one goes through. It has been happening. So actually, I think, uh, in other terms, the president approved what, ha what had been going on. You see, and that's why I've said, eh? the persons we have entrusted mm -hmm. to manage the institutions that are there, Okay, mm -hmm. are the ones who are letting us down. Okay, I had a desire to move from Nairobi to my county to run a few errands, mm -hmm. but I said I will wait when the president will say, mm -hmm. Let us, uh, we've opened the, 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 we've now the cessation thing is over, then I'll move. Mm -hmm. I, if I wanted to bribe the police, I could have done so, but I chose not to. So if I Kenya. wanted to get a letter from mm -hmm. the administration mm -hmm. to travel, I could have done so. But I said, I will wait. And I chose to wait. All okay? right. So the institutions that are in place, okay, mm -hmm. and the managers of the institutions are the ones who are letting us down. Mm -hmm. If you decide to bribe your way out, okay, then that's the wrong thing you're doing. Mm -hmm. You are not doing good okay, to, to you or to the nation at large. So we all need to be disciplined in this, okay? Mm -hmm. But for the lockdown, I'll keep on saying, let us not even discuss about lockdown. Let us see, let this meeting be productive. Mm -hmm. And to the nation, and to my president, let the meeting be productive, okay? The productivity of the meeting mm -hmm. is when you will come out and state, we've sat down with the 47 governors, and these are the hospitals that we have. These are the beds that we have. These are the machines that we have. We have equipped our hospitals. From the funds that were given to us by European Union, from the funds that were given to us from the World Bank, mm -hmm. this is what we've managed to do mm -hmm. as a country to manage this situation. Because and even if you lock down, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. we went to a curfew when we had around 33 cases or 50 cases. Okay, we've come, uh, we're still in a curfew with increased cases. What was the essence of curfew? To me, I believe the essence of curfew was door to door mm -hmm. uh, uh, mass testing. Mass right? testing okay, mm -hmm. it, it could have helped. Okay, we went, we, we, there was a cessation of movement in, in, uh, in counties, in uh, some counties, Nairobi, Mandela, Mombasa, Kilifi. Okay, what are the results? Okay, we want to know. What, what, what was the reasons of cessation? Were you just going to tell people, sit there, you have, mm -hmm. you have, we assume you have the, 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 the virus, so you cannot move, okay? Right. It was from assumption that there was a cessation, okay? But there was no testing. If we could have tested, we could have known to this point mm -hmm. how many people have the virus, then how are we going to manage the virus, okay? Mm -hmm. Before the opening, of the, session, of the end of the session, okay? We could have known, then we have the true statistics, okay? Because even if you ask me, mm -hmm. what kind of statistics is being used to come up with the samples, okay? Or the tests? We don't know, okay? Mm -hmm. Fine, there's an issue. What we need to do is to think on how to manage the issue. Corona is not going to end today. Remember, even U.S. is fighting it, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Even uh, 
Britain is fighting it. These are superpowers. Okay, who are we? <laughs> what we only need is to use the little resources we have to manage the situation. All right, let's jump to uh, now a different matter, but of the same. Uh, speaking of COVID-19, the implications it has had on financial uh, status. Uh, it is estimated, and this is according to the Geopol uh, survey that was conducted on five countries in Africa and it is estimated that 17 million Kenyans are operating on their last cash reserves set to be depleted by August 6th. Hey, now uh, just a brief rundown of the people who were uh, Done the, or who did this uh, survey, 53% of the respondents that were employed before coronavirus spread widely was 48% uh, were informal sectors. And when you speak of the informal sectors, you're, you're talking about the farmers, the sellers, cleaners, uh, uh, construction workers, beauty service providers, oh, what were makeup? Mm. Uh, masks, mm. <laughs> transportation workers, mm. and when we speak of the uh, former workers, we're speaking about the government workers, these uh, close home, these are the civil servants, we could speak so, uh, healthcare providers, educators, and actually <coughs> educators are hard hit by COVID-19, then we have employers of large businesses. Now, for this particular survey that was done in Kenya, Mozambique, Nigeria, South Africa, and Cote d'Ivoire, Kenya and Mozambique are said to have contained coronavirus so far. But now we have worrying numbers. Monthly income distribution, I will take Kenya for an example, and uh, we will compare Kenya and South Africa because those are the people we can compete with anyway, Mozambique mm -hmm. uh, and Ni Nigeria mm -hmm. uh, to some extent. Other countries anyway, uh, I don't know. Uh, we have to look. <laughs> no, no, no. We look look at dollar. <laughs> yes, yes. yes that, you, you have to look at the GDP. <laughs> exactly. Of each so Kenyans are uh, above uh, ten thousand shillings. It is fifty three percent. These are the people in the Juakali. Mm -hmm. We must speak so. I don't want to go wengi na the and little, and then we have uh, if it's South Africa. Actually, you see, South Africa has fifty five. Mm -hmm. Uh, the monthly income distribution. I won't even talk about the civil servants because these people are still earning, the healthcare yes, workers are yes, still earning. Yes. Let's talk about this big number of the people who earn at least 10,000 and below, uh, the people who work in the industrial areas, the mm. people who work, uh, they have the SMEs, the hawkers, they are in this category. They mm. have been affected by COVID-19. Economically speaking, how are we doing? Even speaking of the closure or the cessation of movement, how are we doing? Now, you see, there's a time, I don't know if it is on this media or any other media, but I remember I raised a question mm -hmm. about uh, circulation of uh, money mm -hmm. in this corona era. Mm -hmm. There's been less circulation of money in this corona era. And I remember I raised an issue of, uh, I think it was another set. I raised a, an issue mm -hmm. of um, uh, what we call uh, the taxation, whereby some taxes were reduced, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, when you sit down and look at the reduction of taxation on some areas, then you ask yourself, what is the essence? Mm -hmm. Because there'll be no money collected at all. Because when you have 10 people earning 100 shillings, being taxed, uh, let me say 100,000 shillings, being taxed like 25%, are you really going to improve your economy or to, uh, to, to make your economy go down? Mm -hmm. To me, the economy will go down because you better have 1 million people earning, mm -hmm. let me say even that 20,000, being taxed, okay, like even 10% or 20% from it, mm -hmm. so that it can make the government, it can make a collect, uh, revenue collection to the government. Mm -hmm. And like having people who earn, let me say 100,000, okay, and give less to the government. Mm -hmm. So for us to have a conveyor belt in the economy, that belt that will continue rolling, we need to ensure we empower our people, especially this Juakali. And you see, that is the bitterness when I come and talk of lockdown. Mm -hmm. So there'll be no circulation of money at all. You've locked down each and everything. Now, Kenya has debts to pay. 
Okay? True. And the debts to pay, we depend on the revenue collection from the people. Employee, the government employees are less than a million. Truth be told, government employees are less than a million, okay, mm -hmm. in the whole institutions. But these other people in the informal sectors are the majority. Mm -hmm. And the informal sector people are the ones that are the economy drivers of, uh, of a country mm -hmm. or uh, a nation. Mm -hmm. So these are the people who, are, who need to be safeguarded. When this person stops opening or closes his shop or his business, how many people are, are, have lost the job? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. When a company shuts down due to corona issues, or due to lockdown, because maybe somebody traveled and he cannot come back, or maybe this person cannot report to work because of lockdown, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. The productivity of a nation will reduce drastically. Mm -hmm. This means we will have to negotiate with the international donors on how we are going to pay our debt, okay? Because with or without the corona thing, we have to pay our debt. Very true. And the debt that we need to pay, okay, mm -hmm. comes from the revenue that we need to collect. Mm -hmm. Care itself it never surpasses its, uh, its, uh, its uh, whatever, the target. It's always below the target. It mm -hmm. sets a target and it never achieves the target. Why? Due to corruption. A mm -hmm. lot of monies are lost that mm -hmm. are collected from the taxpayers through corruption at KRA, okay? And tax so, evasion. Yes, and other, those things of tax evasions, mm -hmm. there are so much. So mm -hmm. these are some of the things that we need to sit down and interrogate. And as the head of state, these are some of the things that, he sh that should be actually the top of his agenda mm -hmm. when he's meeting the governors. Mm -hmm. let, let him not be controlled by the governors who are relying on the revenue from the central uh, from the central government, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Because the county government itself has failed mm -hmm. in revenue collection. There is no county that has attained a target in revenue collection. When you go back to the, C, the, uh, uh, the CRA report, each county has to uh, collect revenue so that it, uh, it is added something from the, the, the national government. The government but yes. you see, no county has attained this. Each and every county is struggling. Now, for the sake, of, let me, for example, take Nairobi and Mandera. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, These right. are two different counties. Yeah. One is a city with a large population, okay, because of rural urban migration. Right. And the other one is a rural county down there, mm -hmm. okay, or up there. Now, this county, Mandera County, with a few, with a few industries or uh, institutions that have employed some individuals, mm -hmm. it is a, in a lockdown. Do you think the economy of that county will grow? It won't grow. So what we need is mechanisms on how we are going to manage the pandemic. Speaking we of managing... We accept, first of all, we accept mm -hmm. that this pandemic is there with us. It is here with us. We are going to live with it. Okay? Now, how are we going to manage the way we manage malaria, mm -hmm. the way we manage HIV, they will manage these other, uh, other diseases, okay? Yeah. I, 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 I'm seeing uh, another big worrying number or the percentages of these people who are responding. 71% of the respondents say they are more concerned with paying expenses. Very true. We are living in rentals. Let's speak of Nairobi. Uh, actually, the survey itself thinks about 17 million Kenyans. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking about mm -hmm. Nairobi. Nairobi has a, around even 20, could be. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the people who are paying rent. Mm -hmm. You have not been uh, at work for the last six months, yes. five months. Mm -hmm. Since actually we reported the first case of COVID-19, people began losing their jobs. Mm -hmm. These are people who are servicing loans. These mm -hmm. are people who are servicing uh, mortgages. Uh, you're paying rent. Whatever kind of a bill you're paying, you have no, it's a big number. How do we live in COVID-19 with this? Problem? And uh, that's what I've said eh? And I, when, when I started on that issue. When the president comes to address, of, when they go in that meeting, what I expect mm -hmm. as a, a citizen, okay, a very vigilant citizen, not just an ordinary, a very vigilant citizen, mm -hmm. is that we need to hear 
the funds. You see, like there's a, there's 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 that fund, there's that money that uh, is it e, the world, but they gave uh, IMF. Uh, IMF gave uh, actually five billion to, to cater the for <laughs> to cater for the economy of this country. Okay, mm -hmm. especially for those people who have lost their jobs. Okay, mm -hmm. but where where are this money gone? Okay, this is a, it's a question that we keep on asking ourselves. So these are the monies that we need to say. Okay, for our for our people. Mm -hmm. Okay, for our people. Let us now say this. Let us now see how we are going to sit with the banks for those who have loans and mortgages to cater for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, and for our nation to grow, we need beds. We need hospitals. Mm -hmm. And for this case, you right now here, people are paying five thousand for a test of COVID. Mm -hmm. This person doesn't have five thousand. This means this person will die mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you form a statistics to the government that will benefit from the donor mm -hmm. because many people are dying. Okay, who are not even being taken care of by the government. And then another question I always ask is the loaner. You see, right now, Hillary, if you go to the bank, if you go to the bank and uh, in need of a loan, mm -hmm. the bank will interrogate you on how you want to use your loan, what you want what you want to do with the loan, how you're going to pay the loan. Mm -hmm. My question has always been mm -hmm. on this international donor. When you loan us, do you always question us on the expenditures? Okay? Mm -hmm. How Do you always value the people or you just go by the number of people and, and calculate so uh, Cyrus will be paying 8,000 a day? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. To my loan. Mm -hmm. Then you are sat satisfied with that. Okay, so these are some of the things that we need to sit down and look. And that's why I've always said, mm -hmm. our parliament has always failed us. Okay, because mm -hmm. if we have a vigilant parliament, mm -hmm. then all these things, we cannot be in such a mess. Okay, because these are the representatives of the people at the ground. They, f they know the problems the people undergo at the ground. Okay, mm -hmm. because they didn't come from heaven for them to become in peace. They came from the same, same area for them to be elected. They were elected by the same, same people whom they'll go back to mm -hmm. after five years asking for their votes. So what we need is credibility in our country. But what we have at the moment mm -hmm. is just misuse of fund and, uh, let me say, uh, ignorance of highest order. So it is a high time mm -hmm. Kenyans, we put our governments to task by questioning each and every a penny that is being used, each and every penny that mm -hmm. is being loaned to us by the international donors. Let us not just sit there, mm -hmm. relaxed, saying, our, 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 yes, our GDP is growing, but from the loans, okay, from the loans, then how are you going to service these loans? Our loans are growing, and the lenders are not going to say, because of the COVID, we have uh, decided to, to write off our loans. No, they need the monies. All right. Now, uh, the 17 percent I mentioned, uh, uh, narrowing it down according to the geopol, Kenya, for an example, has 36 percent on loans or credits. Uh, the savings is at 26 percent. Salary income is 16 percent. Of course, this we mentioned that the health workers that are in the formal formal employment or formal places of work, uh, like the civil servants and others, who are at 21 percent. Again, comparing ourselves with South Africa, uh, 14 percent is on uh, for. Uh, 14%. Nigeria, 32 See, Kenya now uh, uh, merges with Nigeria when it mm. comes to loans and mm. credits. Mm. Their population is big. Mm. Ours is big as well, but not that big as compared to them. Mm -hmm. South Africa was the first to go on lockdown. But now, let's move to something very interesting. You remember the eight stimulus points by the president, mm -hmm. uh, Vijana uh, mm -hmm. um, Tani uh, I forgot that. It is, coming, it is coming to an end this week. <laughs> Where I, I've had cries of is the work of the youths only to clean gutters and trenches? Is that what we can do? But now, 17% uh, of the respondents of this particular uh, survey said uh, they have received some form of aid since the coronavirus crisis began. I remember, I think it was the second or the third speech by the president. He said, we will now cater for the vulnerable communities of um, vulnerable people. They are here, people who have not received what the government promised. <coughs> I even remember there has been a cry to the health workers. Whatever the president promised the health workers, it has not been disbursed. What else? 
were we promised money that was not there or it is taking them to confirm and to sign on who should get what at what time? The problem, the money is there, the problem is the priorities. Okay? The priorities that the government has for its people are different. Okay? The priority of the government on somebody in that office, and I remember I said it here sometimes back, that uh, no matter what comes, mm -hmm. even those Kaziko Vijana things, even those, no matter how good idea will be, but there will be someone in the government who already has done calculations and mm -hmm. knows, uh, I have, uh, I'm going to get millions of shillings from this initiative because I'm going to have ghost youths who are going to work in my name, okay? Mm -hmm. But I'm the one who's going to benefit. For them, maybe they'll get 10 shillings or so. And you see, I've always said, and I said this thing uh, the, other, the last time I was here, <laughs> that youths need to wake up. Youths have just decided to be used mm -hmm. in a very wrong way. We are the largest population in this country. True. We need to be the economy drivers of this country. Look at China. 20 years ago, China was a struggling country come to industry. But it decided the youth in that nation <laughs> who run what we call cottage industries, okay? Home industries, okay? To be empowered. They were empowered. Now, they do what? They supply things to us, okay, mm -hmm. from their own remote areas, which we buy and send money to them because we import. Mm -hmm. And then we send money to them. Then when we import, we sell to our Kenyans at a higher price. We have a country with, let me say, with a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. that we can work on to improve our economy. But we youths are lazy. When we go to school, we are lazy. When we come outside, we are lazy. Okay? We want easy things. And I don't I don't I don't know who to blame. Is it the parenthood or the country? Because we keep on blaming the nation and the country at large. Mm -hmm. But let us think as youths, what can we do in our own capacity? Okay, to ensure that we are the true economy drivers of this nation mm -hmm. using our numbers, not just to sit and wait to be told Kunakazi kwa vijana. This is this is what we call an abuse. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let us be productive. Let us not just sit and wait to be told for free money. You sit there, wait to get four thousand shillings. 4,000 shillings won't feed you, won't pay your rent, okay? True. Won't actually won't sustain you. <laughs> just as something, a contract, like this thing that came, Kazikov, yeah, it's going to end. I just seen, I was reading some journals, it's going to end, I think this week. And many have not benefited from it. And once it's gone, it's gone. It's gone, yes. <laughs> then we wait for 2022, <laughs> we hang on politicians, okay? For them to give us handouts. Mm -hmm. For how long are we going to survive with handouts? All right. You have mentioned something to do with the priorities. And I think at this uh, point, we'll, be, we'll take a very short break. Mm -hmm. And then when we'll come back, we will look at the priorities. According to the surveys, how people thought the government should look into the priorities. And then we'll speak also to something very interesting about the loans. Uh, I'm speaking about money, uh, money loans that you know. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I've, I've had to say. <laughs> so kuna so after after it was said uh what when you are going loans was CRB mm -hmm. you know many of us took advantage mm -hmm. I've not said I'm one of them I could be maybe mm -hmm. but anyway that's uh, something we'll be looking into after we take this a uh, very short break when we come back that's what we'll be uh, looking into actually we're looking forward to your comments or questions on or how you feel about the whole thing how the survey says it 
has it represented you in terms of the priorities the government is having, the aid the government has given to you? We were promised masks. Have you gotten one? Have you seen any? How are you coping with the situation financially? How are you? Are our people being catered for, especially the SMEs and the our hawkers in the streets, you know, these are the people who make money go round. Cyrus is saying we need money uh, going or uh, circulating. Is it happening? Keep it why uh, in the morning. My name is Driver Hilary. See you in a bit.